There's quite a few ways you can change the look and feel of your page with Concrete 5 without having to touch any code at all. So let's just play with a few of them. Uh, if I put this page in edit mode, uh, first thing I want to show you is custom templates. So some block types will have different custom templates. Now this is the feature block, which gives you an icon, a title, and a short description, and by default just displays them like this. If I click on this block and instead of hitting edit block, I come down to design and custom template. And then I pick this gear icon and look at the drop down here. I can change to hover description. When I save changes, you'll see this changes the layout of this block uh, entirely. Uh, now I've got a, a large icon, just the title. Uh, if I wasn't in edit mode, when I roll over this, you'll see uh, later there'll be a little pop out of text. Um, so many block developers will have different skins is a good way to think of them uh, that can make your block look and behave different to the front end. You may have also seen when we came into design and custom template there were some more controls here. Uh, these options let you override the CSS for this block. So if I want to change the text, can make it a little bit bigger, change the color, now, depending on how your theme and your block is built, not all blocks will completely honor this, but it does let you kind of do some inline style adjustments, um, do a little bit of padding. Um, we even have a cool feature that'll let you do a little bit of rotation with modern CSS. So you can see you really are changing things around pretty quickly. So that's how you do inline styles. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that Concrete 5 lets you subdivide these areas that we've made on the page. So if I come to column 2, I can click Add Layout, and this will let me take this large area and split it into smaller ones. Um, this will also use the theme's grid template, so if I put smaller blocks in here, and then I stretch the page around for a, a mobile or a tablet size, they'll collapse nicely. So if you want to have some text next to some functionality, play with the layouts a little bit to kind of put things where you want on the page. If you want to change your page or your site as a whole, come up to the gear and go into design. And this is where you can change which theme you're using on your site if you're running Concrete 5 uh, in a standalone environment. And you can also customize some of the settings for your theme here as well. So we click Customize. Most themes have a few different presets. And if you click this, you'll see that it changes the way the page looks as a whole pretty dramatically. You can change colors, background images, uh, fonts used, um, pretty flexible stuff. And you can come in here and override specific things as well. Maybe I want a very red page. There's type settings. These are your default H1 through 6 settings. Uh, you can see you can change individual sections of the page. And uh, this, depending on the theme, this can be pretty extensive. You can also, uh, if you want to add your own CSS just in line, um, you can cut and paste CSS uh, or write it here and it'll just be added to the end of the header area. When you get things looking the way you like, you can choose whether you want to apply this to just the page we're on or the entire site. I'm going to apply it to just this page and I've pretty dramatically changed what this page will look like. As always, simply publish your changes to make them live and you have updated your website.